So in our last demo, I left you guys with our inverse kinematics. Um, we had just set the inverse kinematics on the forearm here. So let me just go here. Um, and uh, I should be able to grab it. And you can see that I can grab it and it's not working. Because, oh, because my chain length is only one. Whereas here, now I set the chain length and well, we don't want the shoulder to do that. So now what I can do is I can grab my little thing and, and it will move the arm. But one of the things you'll notice is we don't have any control over the elbow. So as you're grabbing things, the elbow will kind of do its, its own thing. This will also happen at the knees of your object as well if you've got knees in your legs and stuff like that. So there's actually a pretty simple thing. Let's clear our poses. Uh, clear all. Okay. The other thing that's not happening right now is my, uh, my hand here. Um, which for some reason I can't select, which is really frustrating. There we go. Uh, I should have set the um, copy rotation here on this, set it to the armature, and set it to that hand IK um, so that now uh, whenever I grab this, you can see how it's, it's always going to stay with it. Uh, you see how that works. That's pretty cool. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to add a, a special bone uh, handler basically to our elbow so we can control our elbow. So what we need to do is we need to go into edit mode here and you're going to go click on the joint between the two. Okay, And then you're just going to hit E to extrude. You can bring it out. Um, what I think is actually the best thing to do is you hit E and then the Y key, and now it's going to extrude straight out in the Y. It's going to be a small little bone, doesn't matter. Um, and we can right click on the whole thing, and then we're going to get rid of the parent. Um, so if you take a look here and you go over to the, the bone tab, you'll see here there's, there's the parent. And I think it's Alt P, clear parent. Ta da! And now we should be able to move that out. Now it's important. And this is what I think I did wrong once before. When you do that Alt P, let's undo that. When you do that Alt P, it says disconnect bone. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Just clear the parent. <clears throat> if you disconnect the bone, then it actually becomes, it disconnects from the rest of the uh, skeletal system. And that's where I think I messed up last time. Um, <clears throat> but uh, so this should work. So now we're going to. Um, Drag this out, and then, uh, you know, uh, again, I, I kind of like to take one of the things that a lot of the guys on the internet are doing, and I agree with this, is to make uh, the bone a little bit different shaped than all the others. So I'll just go, uh, it's Control Alt S, allows me to scale it without making it any um, longer. So it just makes it fat, basically. Um, and then what I can do is I'm now going to set this also in inverse kinematics. And, um, you need to go into pose mode, okay, and then you set the IK here. You can also, if I remember correctly, is it Shift I, Shift I, Shift I, by clicking two here. So I go from one to the. I'm, you click on the bone you want it to control, basically last. So let me hit A, okay. Get clear that I'm going to select the elbow controller, hold the Shift key down, select the upper arm. And then I'm going to hit Shift I. Boom. Add I K. See to active bone. Boom. Now it does get messed up right off the bat, and you can see that it added the I K constraint. But the reason for that is the chain length, and we really only want one. So as soon as I hit that chain length, now what's going to happen is let's let's go ahead and let's grab this bone here. So I'm going to grab. You can see how my the skeleton moves like that. Okay. And then I should be able to control the swing of the elbow with this guy, okay? And so he'll be he'll allow me to kind of control whether I want the elbow down or whether I want the elbow back. Um, one of the things that they recommended, uh, and I've seen a bunch of tutorials, and I am now doing this. I agree. A lot of people said you got to set this way back, and now I'm I'm realizing why. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it it does kind of go through. Are, um, you know, can go through the rest of the bones if you're not careful. But it's kind of neat how that works. So I can set this here, and then I can play with how the elbow is going to look all based upon what this bone here is going to do. And so it allows me to control that 
in a very specific way. So I can make him do the chicken dance, or I can make him do a salute. And they might actually be very similar positions for the hand, but it's really the elbow position is what's really different. Does that make sense? So being able to do that and being able to control that elbow becomes really, really key. Um, so that's, that's the one part. So that's basically the last part of the inverse kinematics that is missing. And once you get that all taken care of, then you can really apply it to your character and you can start doing the pose. There's one last little stage that I'm not going to do today. I'll do a separate um, thing on it called weight painting. And most of you will not need to do weight painting, but some of you will. And uh, we'll talk about who might need to do that and why a little later on. Um, it's a, another pretty short demo. But um, does this make sense to everybody? Pretty short and sweet. Okay, so this will help you control your character just that much better.